Hi guys, it's been a long time I haven't seen you and I'll give you a reason why my daughter, my youngest daughter started to cough so hard about I think six months ago that I was thinking that it's due to the plants I have, it's due to the soil. So I was really in a place where I didn't want to concentrate on my plants or on what I'm doing for this channel. So I put all the plants in some rooms and I closed them down because I didn't want my kid to be exposed to the plants or to the soil or anything. As it turns out, it's not from the plants, so I'm back to normal. I did lost several plants. I did lost several plants. And mostly it wasn't because I don't love my plants, but each time I was doing plant chores, I was feeling like I'm uh, making it worse for my kid. And in today's video, I would talk to you about something. Look what happened. Look here. Mm, this is my... Monstera deliciosa, variegated half moon. And I'm gonna tell you why did this happen to my plant. So when I got this plant, it had only one leaf, no two, two leaves. And I was so excited. This was the plant from my wish list. The plant that, oh my god, I remember telling my husband how much I wanted. It was like probably a dozen times I almost bought it. And I found this on um, Facebook uh, marketplace. And the gentleman was kind enough to give it me to me to a price that was mm, better than others, and it was very small. It was very tiny, and it grew and grew and grew, and it started to do more leaves, push more leaves. And here it got very cold outside, so I had to take it inside the house or in another room, so it doesn't because I was afraid it's gonna get cold and die from it. And that's what happened to my leaves. And before this happened, I noticed that my leaves were like the plant was inside and I noticed that it started to discolor and it started to be too, um, too much, I think, of humidity or maybe something in the air, the change of place provoked it to brown down. First, it was transparent. It was completely transparent and then it turned brown. And then after that, it pushed these leaves that are completely normal, like have no problems but the older leaves they started to browning so in my conclusion for this is that uh, they don't like their place to be changed they really don't appreciate when we switch them from one room to another without giving them let's say a warning sign or maybe somehow do it gradually and i noticed in my other plants that if i increase the humidity too fast or it's too hot or it's too cold they develop some other things uh, some other spots like this so um, for this plant, it's very important to gradually move it, gradually change its place, or you will experience something like this too. And I want to tell you that it's been this like two weeks now, and it's really doesn't move any forward or anymore. So these are the spots that were transparent. It stayed by the window. It's not staying in a dark place, but it doesn't like this change, sudden change of environment. This also stays true for the Monstera Dansoni half moon. It was thriving here, and after I moved it to the room, it did lost several leaves, and this one is dying as well. So I'll have to cut it and actually propagate it in water. So I find this plant very, very, very gentle, and as well doesn't like too much of the uh, sudden change. And I believe that maybe because this was a cutting from a larger plant, Maybe it's more um, stable and survives easier to the climate change. Just few leaves, old leaves actually were affected. While this was a cutting from a very new plant, um, I was propagated for a friend, and this is what's happening to it. So it's maybe uh, the younger or the newer the plant, it's harder for it to actually to go. On the other hand, I have my Mostara Donsoni tri uh, tricolor or tricolor, that the one has no problem with life it can be changed anywhere been everywhere in humidity and dryness i forgot to water it i don't know this plant is really amazing to me it's like oh it's really really like easy to take care i just wipe it down i water it and i don't know it stays like this i expected when i saw this uh, my um, half moon getting dark and then when i saw uh, my other sony half moon getting like this i was like so scared
que de verdad, oh my god, no, no, I can't this. He just loves me. He just loves me. And look, it even pushes a new leaf. I, I don't want to hurt you. It pushes a new leaf. Right here, I don't want to really touch it. It's unopened yet. So it's really, 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 really a blessing. So um, the key points to take from this video is that when you change the space of your plant, of your variegated plant, make sure you do it gradually or when you provide some 50-50% of what happened before because they don't like drastic change. Thanks for watching.